<coughs> Go to B. 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 B1. 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 I need Braille. Oh, gee. Roddy had an operation, can't see. <coughs> You'll have to really listen hard to me now, Roddy. Okay, there's four pages on the standing committee. And the terms of reference, if you folks want to approve it, then we'll need a motion following that. Uh, the introduction is the chiefs have the strongest indigenous government in Canada that is still act intact after 153 years and continues to have jurisdiction over 33,000 square kilometers in Northwest BC, <clears throat> generally between Terrace Mears, Mesiaden, and Tudati Lake. The head chiefs have demonstrated leadership by revitalizing a very minute portion of their jurisdiction, the Kicksand Fisheries Tenure and Act throughout the Skeena River watershed. In doing so, the government has made significant strides on the tasks set out in the fisheries tenure and that, such as extending no trespass standard in the Skeena River watershed to all persons holding recreational fishing permits and guide fishing licenses, setting up a crisis management team <laughs> that includes representatives from Canada, BC, and communicating every action to the public. The Gixan government establishes this standing committee to study and report on specific matters. The following mandate and terms of reference which outline their responsibilities. <clears throat> Both chairpersons, Gets and Gigan, are ex officio members of all Gixan government standing committees with full voting privileges. Must the Gixan government must approve all recommendations made by the standing committee prior to execution of these actions, those actions. Issue, reconcile and achieve coexistence of federal, provincial, and indigenous jurisdiction regarding fisheries and fish habitat. Purpose, Canada, BC, and Gixan government will develop new fiscal arrangements to support this new government to government relationship and address inter-jurisdictional matters. Team, the Standing Committee holds an advisory role to the Gixan government and is jointly established by the Gixan government. The initial members shall be appointed by the Gixan head chiefs. The team shall hold one orientation meeting on September 26th and a number of working meetings to discuss matters relating to a shared objective for the Gixan jurisdiction. B2, <coughs> role to promote and advocate for Gixan government and his role in the Constitution of Canada. To make recommendations to Gixan government on policies and programs that relate to their mandate. Responsibility, provide input in proposals, budgets and programs within the mandate at such time that coincides with the budgeting schedule of GTS. Review annual work plans as approved as per approved budget for presentation to Gixan government meetings two to three months before a new fiscal year. Annually review committee's mandate and evaluate effectiveness of programs mm -hmm. under this mandate. Assist with fundraising initiatives by actively identifying funding sources and advocating for project partnerships. Membership. <coughs> <coughs> Four members maximum per committee, plus two ex officio government, Gixan government head chiefs. Any committee member excluding ex officio members missing two consecutive meetings without communicating justification to committee chair will be removed from the committee. Failure to achieve quorum for two consecutive meetings shall trigger an automatic review by the Gixan government on the standing committee. Members failing to attend a meeting without prior notification of regrets will be recorded as absent in the meeting minutes. Committee chair to be elected by the committee. Acting chair to be appointed by committee if required. Chair or designate shall represent committee at meetings and events as required. Chair will encourage each member to bring ideas on proposals, projects, funding, partnership, etc. Quorum. 
four head chiefs of the committee approved by the Gixan government constitutes quorum for all decisions, major decisions concerning program implementation. And five head chiefs constitutes a quorum for all matters relating to financial allocations. Frequency of meetings. Committee to meet at least four times per year and to include review of work plan for upcoming year, review of progress of work plans. Additional meetings may be held with 75% concurrence of committee at which there is a quorum. Reporting. Mm -hmm. Chair or designate shall so bring a report by a draft meeting minutes of the committee to Gixan Govern. Jurisdiction. The point of formal jurisdiction engagement with BC, Canada, and Gixan is the ANAT. Gixan and BC's jurisdiction is the distribution of legislative powers in sections 91 and 92. The federal government has legislative jurisdiction over 9112, seacoast and fisheries, which include foreshore and offshore. Fee simple lands adjacent to the seashore extend only as far as the high water line. <clears throat> DFO manages the salmon and has legislative authority to open or close fisheries. The provincial government has legislative jurisdiction 92.5 over the management and sale of public lands belonging to the province, including wood on them. There is no description of which lands belongs to the province. Section 92.13 of the Constitution provides that the province has legislative authority over property and civil rights. The province, the province claims mandate to manage fish, freshwater fish species, steelhead, trout, and char in the rivers and lake habitats. In rivers, these species are generally subject to conservation-based regulations such as catch and release. Other restrictions such as spawning closures have been done. The province manages the process legislation for angling licenses and angling guide licenses. Gixan jurisdiction is ownership and authority over the Anat fishing sites on the rivers and lakes. The, is put, the authority is founded on the Golah, Adau, and San. The Ayok provides that there's no trespassing on the Anat without permission. The standard to obtain permission has been in practice uh, since time immemorial. The Ayok provides there must be no playing or wasting of fish <coughs> in circumstances where the Anat is surrounded by a Nevis Lahib. Access is not denied to the owners of the Anat. So it's uh, Basically, generally straightforward, the two people that are appointed here, the Lawrence and Dale, and uh, they can make amendments. This is a, a live terms of reference. It's just the terms of reference, eh? so you can add or delete or, or adjust it however you, you would like, except the, uh, the amount of people on the, the committee, but just the, the actual process itself. And so what they will be reviewing is C1. So take a look at C1, and that's a long document. And you go to page C, C9. Go to C9. And that's the uh, <coughs> self-determination and jurisdiction. Recognition of the inherent right of self-determination of participating indigenous nations in British Columbia is a starting point of negotiations to reconcile and achieve the coexistence of federal, provincial, and indigenous jurisdictions, laws, and legal systems. Number 38. Canada and BC recognize that, that participating indigenous nations in British Columbia have the inherent right of self-determination, which includes an inextricable link to the lands, territories, and resources traditionally owned, occupied, or otherwise used and acquired by the participating indigenous nations. So that fits right in with your lahip. Rights to determine your own identity and membership, that's your will. And C is really important, inherent rights of jurisdiction. Okay, you, you 
inherited your jurisdiction through your mother. And 42, it says federal and provincial negotiations may negotiate comprehensive core or incremental treaties, agreements, or other constructive arrangements to reconcile Crown and Indigenous jurisdiction. So you see up here on the board, you have BC, you have all the bands up here. All the bands in BC, the band councils, they're at the treaty oh, table right. except Kitanyao and Matoda. And when they rely on UNDRIP, they don't have the indigenous connection to the lands like the Gixan. So the government is, is in a situation where Canada and BC have developed this policy and you have your connection to the Lahif. For 153 years, you've had your your will, your head chief. So you've got your government. And then you've got your jurisdiction, which is the Anath and the Lahif. So with all the other First Nations in BC, the Gixan is the first group that says you have jurisdiction over the Anak. So that's what this uh, committee will be doing. It will be going through all of the, uh, the policies and then go to D, D1. Is the proposal for the Kixan government? Who will government? So on Thursday, when we meet with the committee, we will be going over these uh, documents in detail. But for the rest of you, you should uh, you should read all of A, B, C, and D. Read it all, and be aware of it as much as you can, and. Uh, Anytime you have questions, uh, Lawrence and Dale will be able to answer. So we start our orientation on Thursday, 10 o'clock. So we'll need, uh, if you guys think it's okay to pass the terms of reference now, uh, then we'll need a motion to that effect. It's a living document. Yeah, it's a living document. Okay, yeah, the nation the table, the details, terms of reference, and to the law is hit to me, the last result of the dad lot, because what's the whole right to me, so I wrote. Kennedy Dills to me, Nick Taylor and Lawrence to me, and to Wilson. It had needed them to blend it to me, to me, said he's kidded to me, the court to me, the park. Can I say something? I said, I'm going to get it. 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 But he will go to Loch Lach, kind of the back smart. Now I think you're going off the wrong end of the stick there, Renny. Come on. You're, you're wrong when you say that. There's two umbrellas in Kitchikatan River, Roddy. 
One's in the store, man, like that, and the other one's on the mall. Look at that, Ninja. Ninja, look at that, I must say. Ninja, look at that. Nick, I must say. Tell him, go just walk a lot, Malachan. Well, what get them? So I do something against one because then they hook your hand. You know, 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 you you good left good, here when good, you were young, snow in the name. because you were cats. You left the country when you were when you were still young. You moved to Vancouver, Roddy, and you don't guess, know anything. Guess who broke you up with my niece? Why are you mouthing off now? Well, I never got married, Randy. Well, that's and that's I never had of, kids. I was like you. I was we were young and older than you at that time. No, I'm not going to sit down, Roddy. I want to have to say what I have to say. Vernon knows a bunch of people here know, but they won't say nothing. When we were being raised, Mom always said, just because a chief wants to give you a name, don't take it. There's people alive that those names belong to. Just like Marston, that's Kabach's given away. <clears throat> Joshua Campbell asked me three times to take some OG. Because of the way we were raised, I said no. Because Mom said there's people those, those names belong to that are alive. After I said no three times, he went to Mercy. Asked Mercy three times, my older sister. And she said no too, because she was raised the same way. And I want those folders that was taken out of this office right after the court case from Norman Les and Gertie Watson, right after the court case, those folders, six inches thick with a bunch of tapes on it. I want those folders back. Then we'd see the truth. I asked for those folders to the Delbert Turner's jeans piece. Norman went and sat down, didn't say nothing. It was them that took that folder out of this office right after the court case. And I want those back. The things like people know Lingoy, Asbach Slingoy, Walton Slingoy. The folder is six inches thick with a bunch of tapes on it. Another thing gorgeous bringing up an ad. I know all about an ad. I grew up with one an ad from the 40s till 53. Then I went away to school and I went to work. Nettie was a Gwyneth there. Nettie was a Gwyneth there. Because Morris Town is a witch one. It was a witch, Sir Bella. No spell as a witch would call Morris Town. Halls Kalanas. Bellas, no hot love. Bellas, no hot love. Bellas, no hot love. Bellas, no I went to upgrade myself and went back to school. <clears throat> I took 9, 10, 11, 12, and 9 months and I went to UBC, electronics. That has nothing to do with I know it's got nothing to do, but I paid my own way. This, I didn't that, go that too still bad. has nothing to and do with it. And my name is not we Norman don't care. Turner. We don't care about what you do. I don't care what you say, but my name, is, about my what name you do. is not Norman Turner don't, to get wealthy don't in Vancouver. Boast. Don't boast about yourself. Well. I won't, but I'll talk about you. My name's not Norman Turner to get welfare in Vancouver. Norman Turner? Yeah. 
Semester Go back to the general. Okay, thank you. Luan to Malaya, Gulak, Luan to Sunsu. They keep mum. Maybe they're doing it for 300 bucks. Who knows? Thank you. Okay, Madam and Sunday, them. Tell them go to terms of reference. Offshore. I I don't understand how much First Nations have on the offshore, like with the high water high water level. I've been arguing with the fisheries in in, in Rupert on why some of the First Nations are arguing that we're fishing in their territory yet. Yet the fisheries have jurisdiction over the waters of BC. So I was wondering how far offshore that they can claim. And on here it says just as far as the tidal waters. That's that's right near the beach. <laughs> Takes it down court case, so it's the same thing as this one. Yeah. So um, just to use this as a guideline, Corey, for for there when the yeah, it's it's <coughs> jurisdiction in the constitution. So that's how Canada and BC divided up, and it it does not include the Ayok. It does not include the Gixan jurisdiction. Yeah, so there's, I was just wondering because um, if they do have jurisdiction over the waters of, of the BC, the, the other First Nations, then I should be getting a hell of a lot of income tax back from the government because I'm First Nation and I have a, a status card and, and I'm able to use it anywhere. And <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's to do with tax. I, I, it, I, know, it, I know, but... If, if they claim in the waters in Prince Rupert is what I'm saying, like through Inverness Passage 
and the skin melted the skin up. Yeah. I fished there all my life. Yeah. And if if the Lahulams are claiming jurisdiction over the waters and they're kicking us off every time we want a food fish for for the fish that's coming from our area to go up to and they're kicking us out of the water over there and, and it says it's only high water mark that they're they're liable to take. But if they if they if they're given the 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 more than the high water mark, they're given the jurisdiction over over all the water, and then I think we're going to be getting a lot of income tax back from yeah, that might be from, from the government. That might be true, but you look at the tax exemption, that's out of the Indian Act. So the the Indian Act is connected to the reserves, and so if the reserves are wherever the reserve boundary is, then then you're talking tax, but this. Us guys here, we're we're not talking uh, Indian Act, okay? We're talking Ayok, Lahip, and yeah. that. Um? Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting at. Okay. So, yeah, it's not connected to the taxes. Yeah. The stuff we're doing. No, but I'm hoping that they win in the in the in the coast. Oh yeah, that's so different. Yeah. Get, so I can get my taxes back if they say that belongs to them. And then I fished there, me and Merlin fished there all our lives. We should be able to get tax back from um, the government. That's what I'm going at. Okay. Okay. Not a much of them go in terms of reference. Need a mover. Can we get fully moved? We got a blood of our knee and the blood there. <coughs> Governing in us, we're pushing them aside ourselves. We're not holding them up. That's what the bottom line of land claims is all about. Yeah, we're throwing them out. Get saying we government structure. We're going to use that. What are we standing on? Are we going to stand on our own or you? This is the bottom line. We, you can't back away. We let them, we let the cup of coffee with the white man, now we're giving them the land. They're taking all the resources, all that mining, all the timber. They're taking all the fish. And they said we're we're not human beings. And I, I really didn't go over that. In the last little talk here, when we had the yoke before they come, this is something we either we either put up argument now or. They actually no, we literally get them on everything else to show the people that they own it. The last week, who you for the day was some crazy. Look at the time. But to me, our we have one goal, and we're going to have. The second goal, once we succeed on this one, the NAD, that's how I understand where we're going. Right now we're talking about one goal, that's NAD. If we, so far we've presented to Doc Donaldson and hopefully he's going to push it into legislation in BC. Once we succeed with that, that's one step, then other things the Lahip will follow through. One at a time, push it into legislation in BC. 
and then we're going to be recognized. That's how I look at it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's where we're heading. Uh, if, if we're not doing that, then I'm just wasting my time as a uh, chairman here. But that's the way I understood it, what we're doing here, one at a time. So the prov province could recognize us and somewhere down the road, maybe, maybe the federal will recognize us. It's Roddy's concern. We, we're going to have to support our Tsumsen neighbors. But that's how I understood it. I hear what Vernon's saying, but uh, we need to get one foot on the, in the door in, in, in BC. Because we made a presentation to Doc Donaldson already. Can I ask Gordy a question? <clears throat> um, with this fishery thing you got here, where does that leave GWA? GWA is owned by the Syndicate of the Gitsan Nation too, and I hope we're not trying to push them out. The Syndicate of, of the Gitsan own that GWA. They're the science and the, the, the fishing industries. So and stuff and we need to protect that area because they're doing all the signs for us and we need to protect it and if we're going to take away their funding here i won't be a part of that uh, so i don't know um, i don't know what i'm reading here but um okay i don't i don't really want to see GF, gwa jeopardized Yeah, the only thing you're dealing with here is the ANAT. And the ANAT belongs to each smogan, each wilt. And that's all you're dealing with, your jurisdiction over that. There's no mention of, uh, of anyone else, any other organization. There's no mention at all. There's no trying to take away anyone's funding. We need GWA to have their funding. We need GWA to continue to be in existence. And that's what we've always said at this table. Um, thank you. You know how government think? You know how white man think? You're gonna talk about an ad and you're talking about the fish and that's where GWA comes in. They either be combined with the government or one gonna go. I mean, that's my line of thought, I don't know. There's a what seem, the white man seems to think all the time. And he was fighting off the same apple. Six months till the next fiscal year. Does that mean there's four meetings? Yes. Now and then, whatever you guys want. But we're at the same time. Yeah. 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 Uh, laying jurisdiction on the nets, it's just, that's from our point of view, how we put it on paper to reinforce it to, to the government. That's how I look at it. Yeah, your, your own government there, yeah. not Canada. Well, well, we'll have to be introducing our ideas of our net to them. Oh, yes. In, in, in their type of writing. Yeah. So, for me, I'm not. I don't have any concerns, too much too much concerns about the, I'm just wondering if uh, uh, four meetings is going to cut it because it's, it's not enough time to really discuss anything. Yeah, so if you, if you look at it, it says committee to meet at least four times per year to include review of work, review of progress, 
And then here's what you're concerned about. Additional meetings may be held with 75% concurrence of committee at which there is a quorum. So you can add another 15 meetings if you want. This is going to take, well, even just uh, orientation on the, the Thursday? Yeah, this Thursday. It's just going to, just tip of the iceberg. Miss Lazar no skills. Can you call her? Yeah. Could you share what uh, Vernon uh, was talking about? Could you share what Vernon was talking about? Oh. He's concerned in how the Anxuas think about us <coughs> and uh, how they look at us to, to, to gonna force their <laughs> own thinking on us. That's oh, what okay. he's concerned. Yeah. 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 Well, well, we're here to um, to stop that. You know the state, the weights uh, from oppressing us, right? And we can't. Um, yeah, we're here it's supposed to be as a government, right? And uh, we make the decisions. We can't. We can't let the white man come in and tell us tell us what to do at this table. And 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 we're talking about jurisdiction. This our right now. We're talking about the water. That's our jurisdiction. You might as well just say the water is our jurisdiction. So, and then we go on to the land after a while. That'll be our jurisdiction. But the whole thing is our jurisdiction. But for now, we're just talking about the water. So, uh, you know, and we can't, we're not gonna allow any white people to come and tell us what to do on our jurisdiction. And, and that is Burden's concern, is that they're gonna be dominating us. And he's right, you know, because they are going to try. They are going to try that. Well, they already tell you they got a written constitution, legal technicality, step two, man. But in Delgum the court recognized the uh, hand me down thing that went in court. The vocal, the vocal side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Vernon, um, I, I'll just say one more and then I'll quit. <laughs> we were having a board meeting in, in GWA and the, we were having a phone conference with, with the, the heads of the Department of Indian uh, Fisheries and they asked us, we thought the Gitsan are the owners of the, the fish, fisheries, they said. And we said, yeah, we're an arm of the, all our board members are one from each clan from, of the, the Shimgiget. One, one board member represents a house. There's four, four, four board members. We have one Lucky Boo, one Veneta, one Gishas, and one Laskik on the board. And when the fishery head, the head of the fisheries asked us why we're, why this group is trying to take the funding away from CWA, and that's what that's the way they look at it, you know. And and Vernon is right; they're going to say, okay. Now we give the funding to the Gitsan governance. Your, the GWA has to go to the Gitsan governance to get funding to keep their operations going. I think that's the way it's going to have to go pretty soon. If it's going that way right now, if we take all the funding. Yeah, Mr. It's, Chair. It's, it's, it's the way they think. It's not the way we think. We want things to stay the same. 
but the way the, gov the white men and the government think, they think that way, and that's what Vernon was saying earlier. So you look at the uh, D1, that's the nation rebuilding, and that's where you're getting your funding. That's what the Department of Indian Affairs. They're looking at nation rebuilding. So those other groups up on the board, they got to start from scratch if they're not going to work with their band council. You guys always have your wilp and your samogat. So that's where that money's coming from. We're not bothering the FO. We're not asking them for a dime. And that's where DFO funds GWA and all the other groups on the coast. So if that guy really said that this group wants to take the, he's lying to you. So don't believe stuff like that. And you can even tell him he's lying if he says that again at another meeting. Because this group is not after DFO money. Okay? This group is all with a different program. <laughs> okay, need them them Clint it's a long go to terms of reference. Lent is Calvin, Nadam and uh Sunni Skidet. <coughs> Linda, second. Moved by Calvin, second by Linda. In terms of reference, it's a, it's a live document. I'm glad it's in It's a live document. And the leden that the leaders have laughed at you, that you see you did. Can you turn the leaders off? Them simply a good me. Dachte them so good that go in the army. Dachte them ne much the boys I'm at law. And with the uh, little some documents. Okay, uh, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Now they declined it. Passed. They did which problem? Oh, okay. Update. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, the picture is um, DFO has not showed up for the last couple of meetings. And um, their excuse uh, the last time was um, that they didn't know about the meeting. And um, that is not true because um, Amy Wakefield was sitting right here when we were planning the next uh, meeting. And I think that was in September 8th, 8th, 9th, 10th, I think. And um, she chimed in, she said, at that time we're gonna have um, uh, a meeting for the DFO 101. So she knew about the meeting, but she didn't show up anyway. Uh, there's something going on with them. Um, they don't like uh, what they don't like the fact that we're trying to say that our jurisdiction and they're trying to say it's their jurisdiction so there's a sort of like a tug of war there and that's only the beginning it's only the beginning of this fight uh, because they are going to be fighting us and they're going to uh, use all the tactics that they have uh, to to fight us and that means um they're gonna they're gonna pull out the strings. I know it. Eventually, and it's gonna affect our pocketbooks. Eventually, they're gonna start, um, you know, saying, well, you know, since you don't comply, you're not gonna be getting this. I'm sorry, you know. This could happen because the government we're dealing with the government. You all know this, and the government has never told us the truth yet. They've always lied to us since day one, since they came here. So um, 
I don't trust the government. I don't trust DFO. And we as much as said so at that uh, news release we did in Terrors. We didn't hold back. And um, the, the committee that we have is very uh, strong. Uh, you could see, you know this uh, from our um, re news release. We had a, a meeting with uh, the sports, uh, sports, sports uh, people. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but we had a meeting with them. Uh, Jean Allen was one of them. And um, I don't know who the other person was. Uh, do you remember, remember Gordon? That other guy's name? Gordon Wadley. Gordon Wadley? Oh, okay. Yeah, so he was, um, they were there and uh, we had a good meeting with them and we had a feeling that, uh, well, they're white people and I got that uh, right, right out, right away. You guys are white, I'm Indian, I said. And um, they're trying to, uh, no matter what we do, we're up against white people, whether they're the government or not. And they want money. They don't want, they don't want to lose any kind of money. And they see us as uh, being in the way of them. But uh, I told them in a good way that uh, this land is ours, the fish is ours. When it goes down to, uh, down to the coast, and it comes back mature, that's our fish, I told them. And um, they know that they're gonna have to deal with us and we're gonna have to deal with them. And whether we are, whether we get into a fight with them doesn't matter, we'll, we'll win because this is our land. This is our jurisdiction. That's why I said it's important for us to, uh, to say that the water is our jurisdiction right now. I mean, of course, it's good to say an art, but it's actually the water that's our jurisdiction and everything in it. So, um, otherwise, uh, everything is uh, basically the same. We haven't uh, really met with the fisheries, just with uh, the sports, sports fishermen, called it. Could be. Well, this letter uh, from the First Nations Summit there, C1, there's enough stuff in there. I guess you guys haven't had a chance to show this to your, your DFO uh, uh, people that you meet with. Oh. I don't think we've met with a day of all people. We've invited them, but they don't want to come. But you can send this letter to them yeah. somehow. Okay. Yes. Yeah. By not meeting, he said they haven't met twice. And, yeah. and there, you know, this letter represents Canada as well. And they're contravening the Canadian representation on this letter. And that's the point to consider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. You know, we could uh, we could think about that. Yeah, I, I have, we have, this is the first time I've seen this. So <laughs> this land is my land. The the lemon because I made it mean. <laughs> 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 Don't use the American version. <laughs> the summit, Ray, are they changing their focus? The summit. Because I know, I know the First Nation summit is mostly bank council, elected chiefs. Eh? They've always been, and as far as I know, they're still the same. Yeah. I was just wondering if they're starting to change the focus within the reconciliation process. Well, it sounds like it's a little bit in the letters. Okay. And it's coming from Canada and 
from Canada Mailers in this that letter here. Yeah. But the letter is signed by two summit people. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be interesting if they change their focus under the reconciliation process, eh? Andrew. Mamish, there's not an excuse. I'll get Mur? What's that? Mur, the set, uh, is that the federal Mur is the one that deals with reconciliation, is that right? Yeah, it's BC. BC. Who's, who's for the federal? DIA. DIA. Yeah, they got two different names now. I forget what their names are, but. Basically, the Department of Indian Affairs. I wonder if we could invite the head hunter here. Indigenous, I think some kind of indigenous thing. Yeah, you go to C3, C3 on here, and you'll see that the policy is endorsed by Canada and BC on September 4th. So, Canada and BC have endorsed the policy, and then you go to uh, Section 36 and 38, and you'll see what they endorsed. They, en they endorsed that you have inherent jurisdiction. So they've, they've stepped into it now. So what they've done, what they've done is that First Nations people have said, we own the land, we this and we that. So they said, okay. We're going to see, show us what you got. So it's a challenge. So now we're going to have to produce. And we're ahead of the First Nations group in BC because we have an act and we got Lahip and we got Wilt and we got the Samog. So this is what the government is endorsing on C3. So all we have to do now is start to build our confidence. And it's open as uh, as wide as our Ayok is. It's as wide as we want to be as Gixan. Maybe skis in the one come out as they now. So please go. Well, these documents, lots of homework. Yep. You need to last longer next meeting. 
So just a reminder, uh, of 1977, uh, November, we had our big, uh, uh, a big uh, meeting, to have a council meeting at Kiskiap. The uh, Minister of Indian Affairs is uh, Faulkner. I met him in, uh, when they landed in Smithers at the airport and we helicoptered from Smithers to, to Kispiaps. Um, it was there that we presented our declaration in 1977. And that declaration stems from <coughs> what Albert Tate was reminded people that you stand on the truth. Just a little bit of trivia for your people. Uh, are we going to be talking about this planning and leadership? Next week. <coughs> next week. Next month. Next month. Next month. Yeah. Oh, that's in October. I thought it was next week. No, uh, next week is October. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, 15, 16, 17. Uh, there's a retreat, eh? Huh? That's a retreat here. Yeah, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. And 
uh, two full days for sure. And the third day is basically, if we can get to it, is the, uh, it may be including Wits Odin and the Gitniak. And you need so, a bigger plate on the third day? On the third day, yeah. So we're looking at uh, uh, leadership, the Samoga. We're looking at what the chiefs want to do because that's it's it's a huge step. How comfortable are we are are we with with the bands, and how comfortable are we are are we with the uh, being a Samoga? So we'll be addressing those things. We'll be covering things like uh, <clears throat> a doubt. We know that everybody has a different a doubt, but it's important to the Samogit. The uh, Gwalach, uh, the items that uh, show that you have the Dakhet. And it'll be done mostly in the language. And uh, it'll be will be something that's done to really bring each of you out as a, as a Samog. And it's dealing with the leadership and the jurisdiction. And then we'll be covering things like the policy. The strength of the Sengeget is not a court case not the policy, not under The strength is yourself. And that's what the focus will be on for, for two days. And then the third day, if possible, it might include uh, a representative from the Woods Owen end. But that doesn't seem too likely. So it's still being developed, and uh, it, the focus is really starting to <coughs> come together. And, and you guys will see how that uh, how that's connected to yourselves. So who's the professor you're contemplating? Uh, Ronison. Who's that? She's a, <coughs> she's a lady with the uh, Coastal Mountain. We haven't talked to her yet. We're just talking to her on Thursday. But she will be there to help write it up what you have. We're not bringing anybody here to tell you about being Samogan. What that's gonna happen is you're gonna, you're gonna deal with yourself as a Samogan and the leader. Nobody's gonna have an answer for you except yourself. So it'll be very interesting Our oh, next sure. uh, director's meeting on the 17th, too. <laughs> Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Yeah. yeah. This will be over. Yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so Major that's planning. Mr. Gates is planning. Yeah. Higini, they, they meet on the 21, 22, and 23rd. Court <coughs> media training. Media training. Yeah. Seventh and eighth. Yeah. The crisis management team has media training on the seventh and eighth. So you guys are all going to be busy. And Lawrence is going to buy that three piece <coughs> suit, eh, Lawrence? Poor guy, you can't find. Standing in Kimara, Kishkunare. When is our next meeting? Yeah. Just heard that we don't override one another. This is the um, number in this policy here somewhere saying that Dan Hat is not a thing and the growing of fish, I think that's what that other department's about is the growing of it. I think it should be a, a little policy reminder in here that the two of them need to survive. 
Yeah, we did. We did. This guy over there didn't know what they're doing this right here right now. What the hell are we giving this money for the other one? You know, that's what those guys don't think. I mean, I'm only trying to preserve. We're done. <coughs> Committee. Okay, uh, standing committee, uh, September 26th, that's Dale and Lawrence, plus the two chairs, you said? Yeah. Okay. Very So that's that's done already. Okay. See you guys on the 26th? Yeah. Oh, standing committee. Standing committee. Okay. I was, um, Wondering, Vernon, if we should uh, write a letter of thank you to TWA and and the Gidwan Gach um, Sanin, Sanin crews. They helped quite a bit at the slide in in the Fraser River. They they stay right out at the at the camp there. The guys from the Gitsan Nation. Did a lot of work when that slide happened. So GWA was invited to to get uh, a crew. So Charlie got um, the Lance because they've done sailing before in in Kitwanak. So they had two crews down there and a couple of fish wheels from the Gitsan Nation. And I think we should at least recognize that they did something for. They're pushing our our strength in in fishing in the fishing industry and trying to save fish. I think that's what it was all about when they went down there to save the fish down there. Yeah, yeah we'll do the letter and we'll have the chair the chair sign it. Okay, ma'am. Um, the letter of thanks to Gidwin Gach and Sanin uh, Vernon, when is our next meeting? When's our next meeting? We'll set that on the 16th, 15th, 16th. Oh, no, no, this one. For this. We don't want to have too many meetings. You guys will get fixed up. Well, the, what we're wondering is you got your standing committee meetings, but when's our meeting, the, our group? Because you're having separate meetings with your standing committee. Yeah, we'll, we'll set it on the uh, 15th and 16th of. Uh, October. Do we go to that one? Yep. That's you us. Guys, that's that's us, uh, yeah. the gates. Yeah, don't forget, you guys, this whole table is going to show up on the 15th, 16th, and 17th. This whole table. Crystal's in Mexico. Oh, well, we can go down there. <laughs> she, could, she could phone you in. Yeah. Hey, Lodaya. Okay. I thought it was just for the standing committee. So when Linda asked yeah, earlier, that's what the answer she got was the standing committee. Oh, oh, that's different. That's next week. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the one you're addressing is on uh, October 15th and 16th. 15th, 16th, 17th. Gates, governance. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not going to have another one of this meetings until November. You'll set, it at this date. Huh? You'll set that meeting at, on the 16th. Oh, okay. Sweetie, yeah. <laughs> first time um, I never had hooks with Gates and before this with the uh, Holy Group. And, uh, Every time they're planning or whatever, I'm always available, but this October 15th, 16th, and 17th, I won't be here. And I'm very sorry, this has been planned um, uh, nine months ago. <laughs> Are you guys having a kid? No. Not me. <laughs> My granddaughter's having her baby in Prince George. And that will be on her birthday, and that's on during that week. So I'm taking that week off. <laughs> so I'm sorry I won't be able to be here. Okay. Is the real AGM is it still on the 25th? GTS, yeah. On the 25th. 25th. Okay, I'll be I'll be here. What time is that? 
10 in the morning. Nine. Nine, Nine or 10. Eight, Nine. <laughs> Nine o'clock is the director year. Nine o'clock. Okay, here's an update <laughs> on uh, Shirley Lawson. She's out of, uh, she had a three hour, uh, what they call that? Three hour uh, surgery. surgery. And it's not as bad as the doctor thought. She doesn't have to wear a bag and they couldn't find any real problem and all the infection has, has been cleaned up. So she's, uh, she survived pretty good. So if it's good news, you yeah, guys' yeah. prayers, keep her in your prayers. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. When they first talked about it this morning, they said uh, it doesn't look like she's going to make it, but she wanted the operation. But I knew he's believe. <laughs> okay, that's good news. So you probably will be next next week after that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So twenty first on. Yeah. So you'll be available. It's good to see so <laughs> <laughs> It is all your simon, not even damage to me. You would say it could. It is all your sin, a beast of need, blue lit could. To maintain, which is sin, simming it, to build Wilkes government, to run to life government, and elevate Monginam la heap. You would say, um, sat on. Good name is named, had a get him some argument, and Lalak said, Melikulst of need Lujah, <laughs>